Discover what's possible when we think research at Case Western Reserve University. Leaded gasoline was used to improve performance. The car that knocks needs golf no knocks. But new research at Case Western Reserve University finds that leaded gas introduced a whole new level of lead poisoning in children. There was this peak in the 60s and 70s. Norman Robbins, emeritus professor of neurosciences at the School of Medicine, led the interdisciplinary study. What we found is leaded paint for the latter part of the 20th century was not the major source of lead poisoning in children in Cleveland. Leaded gasoline was. Statistics professor Jia Young Sun led the analysis of data from several sources, including data from teeth enamel. Teeth, like trees, grow in layers. Same thing with a tooth. When you cut a tooth, you can see that lead was deposited or not, the concentration of the lead, and also when that happened. The researchers also analyzed lead levels in children who grew up in high traffic areas. Children who grew up in such neighborhoods had a higher correlation with the lead and gasoline than children who came from neighborhoods with less traffic. Lead poisoning has been associated with behavioral problems later in life, with some previous studies suggesting it may lead to criminal and antisocial behavior. If so, adults who were exposed as children to the peak of leaded gasoline would be most at risk. The question that our research might raise is, should people get special remediation, special training for the damages that were done? The research does not minimize exposure to lead paint, which is the primary source of lead poisoning today. As in all environmental health, the, the, the lesson comes back again when you start seeing toxicity, you don't wait until it gets worse and worse. And that lesson keeps getting learned over and over again. Learn more on how Case Western Reserve University thinks beyond the possible at case.edu.